Hello, hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is John Horn and welcome to another episode of 92 Seasons Mode. Yes, and today we've got five more teams randomly picked for your entertainment. And well, if your team's on there, make sure to give it a like. Instead of me talking, I've got other things to do, so I've got to quickly record this. So let's get into the first live game. Okay, first team is Gunfork United. Um, okay, that's fine. Um, they're in a lot of financial problems, so. Yeah, representing for the boys, I understand. Like I said, I've been there with a football club that's gone through financial problems, so I understand. Plus, one of my favourite career mode content creators of all time, Barfy Boys on a career mode on them. It's one of the most must-watch career modes of all time, so... Yeah, going to be playing with Scumfork, seeing how good they are. Okay, then, they've got the ball. Pass it, lovely. I don't know this team on top of my leg. Oh, no, bit of lag. I don't know the team. The shot, it's a good save from Watson. Denying the shot, really good for him. Got the ball, pass it to Bun. Bun through balls it. It's a terrible through ball, may I say. Come on. This team's um, starting a bit slow, I'm not going to lie, but... Oh, great interception, and then the slide tackle. Yeah, that's definitely a red card. 15 minutes in, they're down to 10 men. Okay, they've got the ball again. Even though they're down to 10 men, they're still dodgy, but there's a good interception right there. As Perry threw balls it into Bun, threw balls it into Bestin. Bestin now back to Bun, lovely. Perry's by himself, but dribbles around fantastically. The shot, it's a good save from Muller. No, Miner, sorry. All right, corner, let's whip this one. Let's take advantage of the 10 men. The header goes nowhere. Oh, we've got the ball though. The shot, it's another good save from the keeper. This is getting absolutely annoying now. Corner number three now, whips in. It's going to go absolutely nowhere. Uh, typical. Okay, they got the ball from their midfield, but the f problem is, no, the problem for them is we're getting a lot more momentum. This is what I need. Good, good tackle, I will say. And now through ball it into hip your no hip your you know what? Forget about that now. I'll pronounce your name later. Oh, always dribble run fantastically now. The shot, it's in one nil. I was trying my best to pronounce your name, but you've been focused more. Great dribbles from the player around the defence, and it's 1 0. It was going to happen eventually, and we took the lead. Oh gosh. I got the ball from the midfield, but yeah, that's what I've seen. I've seen, oh gosh, I mean, oh gosh, I'm ready for them. It's over the top through ball into Scrimshaw. Scrimshaw saved. Oh, the rebound burn. That's another great save from their keeper. Damn it, I needed that second goal. Got a throw in. Well, only one goal up and down the 10 men. It's not looking good for the opposition right now. But I think Scunfork are doing a lot of pressure in football. And I love it. But, oh, no, the pressure's going to be on us. It's a good tackle down front half. And the keeper gets at half time is gone. I think the 10 men kind of impact them. But the problem with this team is it was starting out slow, but it's getting better. So let's get the second half. I'm really keen for this game. Corner now. In, pass it short into Bun. Bun is able to get that fa well fantastically. The shot it's wide. Damn. No offense. They were not doing well to tackle me. I think he was still scared about the red card. All right. Pass it short. No. Oh, that's a great interception from Scrimshaw. Scrimshaw now. Come on. Pass it to Bestin. Bestie now. You know what? Go for a cracker. 2-0. And what a strike. Brilliant strike from Bestin. 2-0, I should have used them more for Lou Wanderers if he was going to be that good, but you know what, 2-0 lead, best team, get in. Thompson, got the ball, ah, oh, sadly got there in there, pass it in, Scrimshaw, dribbles round, taps it, slaughtered the tackle, it's not even a free goal, oh, no, that's the 9, down to 10 men, come on. Now I mean down to 10 men, he's going to be down to 9, because that's just a stop and a goal scoring opportunity. The players are arguing, let's see it, there it is, top corner, red card number 2. Oh boy, down to nine men now. Scrimshaw goes for shot. It's a terrible shot of that. All right, then Thompson on the ball. Thompson, slight tackle. He's frustrated. The opposition is frustrated with us. Slight tackle goes nowhere. Dances round into hip your T. I try to press. Oh no, he's down on the spot. And that is record number three for him. And we've got ourselves a penalty. It Things are crumbling now. It's a. Obvious penalty, and I'm not sure about if it's a red card or not. All right, let's just make some substitutes real quickly. Uh, all right, penalty spot. Come on, get a brace. He has. I'll try and pronounce your name. I'll look it up after the episode, after the game. Sorry, and then afterwards I'll try and make it a lot better because you've been great. Three 0 They got the ball from the defence now from our area. 
This is not look at through ball. No, Otto. Otto, come on. Let's prove, let's prove the defence out. They're down to, what, eight men now. And we need to defend as well. Great. Well, oh, no. Let's straight back to him. Come on. Great tackle. Tough. Fantastic centre back. Through balls into Bestin. Bestin gets slaughtered. Oh, no. He's already on a yellow card. And they're down to seven men. This is just getting embarrassing now. All right. They're going to get in. Great interception. And oh, come on, Scrimshaw now. Scrimshaw dances round. And look at the gap. Look at the gap. For, uh, across in. Best in. It's in. Um, yeah, I'm not taking this in my final judgment for this team because they are down to eight players. And we've taken full advantage of that. But it's 4-0 with equal to the amount of red cards. All right. Let's try our best now. Oh, tackle gone nowhere. But you know what? That's a great tackle. Canyon, Canyon, oh, I'm, I'm in luck. I mean, this team has been so good. I cannot be. Ah, oh, it's a slight tackle, but he's already on a yellow card. It's another red card. Five red cards. And I think, yeah, that's a forfeit win. My first ever forfeit win. He did not take this game seriously. And the amount of red cards, five. That's more than goals as I've scored today. But five red cards, a forfeit win. I'll take it. <laughs> you know what? It's a first for everything. Okay, um, with this team, there was a lot of problem at the start. It was really slow, but then Alfred's momentum kicked in. I don't know if it's because of the red, first red card, but there was so much momentum building into it, and we had good chances into the game. But I'm not taking the rating too hardly because the opponent wasn't taking the game serious with the amount of red cards. So with that, it's going to be a 6.5. But the man of the match... And I'm proudly I'm going to say it. But man of the match, I'm giving it to Hippo Light. Yep, I managed to pronounce his name. Really good centre midfielder. In the right positions. And really helpful player that. As we move on, we randomly drew against Newcastle United. Sadly, this is before they spent anything in January transfer window. So we're back to the usual Joe Linton at the top. Uh, this team was awful. We conceded first right there. It was a very awful goal. But then afterwards it got worse and worse until I decided to do the best thing possible. I took Joe Linton off and put Alan Six Maximum up top. And by God, we're a whole different team. He got us the equaliser. We should have gotten the win so many times. But it ended as a 1 1 draw. Disappointed. But that one change of Joe Linton off of St. Maximum in his place was the best thing possible. A game of 6.5 and St. Maximum. Got man the match for obvious reasons. And then we got the posh city Cambridge United. Um, yeah, we got two very quick goals because the player wasn't really playing. I took advantage of it, but then it got tense. It got tense either way. He started playing it. Um, it was going down to the wire until he scored and then I scored to make it 3-1. It should have been a 1-1 draw if he decided to play the first couple of minutes. I gave him a four. It was kind of a cheesy if I do get it. But I'm giving the man the match to West Hulahan because he was so on fire and would not stop running. And then we got Akint and Stanley as our next team. Um, It was a slaughter. Honestly, the team I was facing got much better rated players. But we were just slaughtering them. The only thing I would need is a, quality, a little bit of quality up top. And offers this would have been in double digits. But until then, he just gave up, throw his toys in the pram, and just throw his toys out of the pram, sorry, and it was just over. 6-0 win, brilliant performance. I gave him a 7, man the match, Morgan, because he was so on fire in that midfield position. Okay, we got Wolverhampton. Okay, I quite like Wolverhampton's team. I always say they've got a really good underrated team. I'm not sure about some of their transfers, but... I've always been a fan of Warhammer Wanderers. I always find them as like the dark horses of the Premier League sometimes. So let's get into the live game. And I'll make it. Oh god, Celtic call over again. I really have having nightmares after McGregor. Oh good lord, short pass and McGregor tackle. No, keep it decided to go down. He thought it was a shot. It was not. And honestly, I've got three centre backs and none of them able to deal with that ball. Celtic take the league. <sighs> Start of the game and Celtic take the league. Freaking annoying that was. We could have dealt with it, but the keeper slash defending miscommunication was awful. All right, let's break. Semedo into Ruben Neves. Ruben Neves, lovely control. Defender going up to Quickbets into Jao Matinho. Back to Ruben Neves. Ruben Neves, oh, all the time. 
Come on, he goes. Let's go for those baggers. It's wide. Oh, just on target at least, please, Ruben Neves. Boris, pass and Turnbull into Jota. Jota dances. Great tackle, but it's gone straight back to him. Freaking annoying. I hate it when that happens. Jota threw balls it. Lovely passing. Oh, my God. He's through. He's through. Damn it. It's in. I've got three centre-backs and none of them able to pick him up. That's so annoying goal to concede. Celtic double their lead. And I'm not looking forward to it if I've got defence like that. Oh, freaking hell. Right, we've got a corner. Come on. Jao Martinho. Come on, whip this one in. Come on, get ahead to it. Nope, none of my players can get ahead to it. All right, we've got the ball, though. Semedo, Neves, into Semedo, into Cody. Cody trying to find someone into Jao Martinho. Martinho! Oh, I just had to go for it. Just give me some at least confidence booster, but that was a shot on target. Corner coming in. Header, no one. Come on. Adam Toyore. Toyore. Oh, my God. Look! That was a bad... Oh, I was going to say, you ruined the poor Celtic player turn, but it's half time. I'm laughing now, but really the performance has been a lacklustre of that. Freaking hell, 2-0, the defence. I've got three centre-backs and none of them are good at marking. This is something I'm looking forward to. Oh, boy. All right, good corner, Cody, into Jao Martinho. Let's get, oh my god, what was that for a pass? I was going to say, let's get, let's get momentum going, but sadly, this team doesn't. Turnbull dancing around into Jota, into McGregor. I've faced Celtic so many times. Through ball. No. Free now. Uh, I may have draw the centre back out, but I've also got two other centre backs who should be taking his place. But I'm I don't know. This is terrible performance from Wolverhampton. It's 3 0 Celtic and I need to make some changes, at least save my ass right here. Okay then. Come on, win that ball. Yes, Cody's won the ball. Into Neves. Neves now. Trying to find someone. Through balls it into Toyori. It's too heavy. Oh, Raul Jimenez. The shot. Get in there. Raul Jimenez makes it free. No, Jimenez. I need that ball. God damn it. 3 1. Jimenez, you need to find another ball now. Come on. Come on. Trying to put pressure on him. My players are out of position. I am not liking this. Oh, easy pass. A bit dodgy right there, but come on. Let's go for it. Neto. Neto, lovely run. Lovely. Through ball. Jimenez has kept himself onside. It's 3 2. Raul Jimenez again. Now, don't know. You try to boot the ball we need at this time. 3 2. Raul Jimenez saving our bacon yet again. 90th minute, and I'm really pissed off. I'll tell you later. Celtic are through. Uh, you, 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 you are an absolute arsehole, this player is. An absolute arsehole, and I'll explain why. Oh, shot saved. Ray. Oh, come on. Get rid of it. Freaking asshole! I'm so annoyed about this. Full time has gone. The guy's a prick, and I'm being serious. What he's done for the rest, as soon as I scored, he's been passing it round the back for about what 20 minutes of the game. Stupid, freaking sweaty, embarrassing player. I've always hated playing against people who take this game too serious, and that is stupid. One of the worst things ever. I wanted to at least get another chance but i couldn't because the guy was a sweaty twat all right then well all behind the wanderers it wasn't the best honestly and with that performance alone i'm giving them a free and uh, i've got three center backs and yet they are very poor marking um the goalkeeper wasn't the best the attack did all right and that's why the man amount is given to raul jimenez actually gave us some hope and a really good striker i just wish that he, i would have more chances if the guy wasn't being such a sweaty and camping twat I, i've done right in the raging and with that another five teams have wrapped up in today's episode if you've enjoyed today's episode please make sure you leave it a like as always what i say if you're a scumthorpe united fan nuke arsenal united cambridge united Atkinson stanley or wolverhampton wonders fan Give this video a like, support your club, comment down below, I'll make sure to reply and subscribe to my channel. As always, I'll see you lot later.